Hey, Steve Gale here. Yeah, look, I've just installed um, the um, Elastic Defend Agent Windows Client. Uh, just a couple of things if I go to my Windows Client. This is the um, PowerShell script that I ran. And um, I had to add, you have to add minus minus insecure on the end from what's generated in Fleet. And uh, what it will do is it installs the Elastic Agent in the Windows Client. And um, the URL that it communicates with is Cali Purple on port 8220. And it's given an enrollment token. So, so this is the and and then when you when you run the script, you can see here. Uh, I had to go a second go because I forgot to put the um, I forgot to put the minus minus um, insecure on the end. So this is my um, my second attempt starts here. So this is the script, and you can see here it, it's it's going silently. But um, when it installs the Elastic Agent minus minus insecure, it says Elastic Agent will be installed. In this location, do you want to run as a service? Do you want to continue? Yes. So you just give a yes, and then you start to see these um, these young, uh, sorry these um, JSON messages, and um, eventually you'll see successfully enrolled the Elastic Agent, and Elastic Agent has been successfully installed. So once you see that, when you flick back to um, to Elastic. Um, you can go in and you can have a look at the um, the agent that you've installed. So if I go go back, so what I did was I added I added Elastic Defend. I called it Windows Defend, and uh, when I went through the process, you can see here it's got one agent installed. So that's an agent running on one client. So if you've got multiple Windows clients in your system, then you'll install it. You'll install the agent on multiple Windows clients. You can use the same script. Um, but you can install it onto multiple Windows clients and it'll tell you which agents and the number of agents you've got installed. So if I click on this agent here, then what it does is it uh, gives me information about this particular agent. So mine's a Windows 11 client and it's running the policy that I set up was Windows Defend policy. And I'm using the latest version, which is 8.8.2. So if I go and have a look at that Windows 11 client, can see this is the information that's coming back from the agent. So it's telling me the CPU is at 0.89%. Um, this is, sorry, this is how much information the agent is using. So 0.89% of the CPU, memory 114 meg. So if I was to go into um, Windows 11 and um, just do a task manager, um, crawl, alt, delete, control, alt, delete, and run, um, Task Manager. If I have a look at the Elastic Defend agent, which is running, that comes up. So this is my Elastic agent here. You can see here this is the um, this is the amount of CPU that. Oops, sorry. Where's my Elastic Defend agent? Here we go. Elastic agent here. So um, this is my agent here, and this is how much memory. It's probably a combination of the endpoint and the agent. So this is um, how much memory it's using, how much CPU it's using. So we've installed the Elastic Agent on the um, on the Windows client. So going back, then tells me it's running, tells me the name. So if I want to look at the um, the logs, so I can have a look at the logs. If I want to view more agent metrics, then I've got can view more agent metrics here. And I can view those in Kibana. So these are the agent metrics. So you can see here, this is the this is the um, CPU usage of the agent. This is the amount of memory that the agent's been using. It tells you how much is file beat, metric, metric beat, and elastic agent. And um, and it gives you more information about it. Anyway, I'll just go back because I'm not so much interested in the agent. I'm more interested in the um, information on, in the Windows client. Um, so I can have a look at the logs. And um, you can see here that if I look at the logs from the agent, Magic Agent is healthy and running, state is healthy. So it's 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 giving me log log entries from the um, from the elastic agent.
So if we're going to discover and um, discover and have a look at logs, and then we look at the logs, say for the um, you know the last fifteen minutes, and do a refresh. And just go and have a look at one of these logs. We can have a look and see whether we've got logs coming back from our um, our Windows Defend clients. So this is an example of a log that's come back. It's um, processes, so it's it's detecting processes on our on our endpoint. You can see how our, our endpoint is Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation. Twenty, it's running 22H2 kernel. And it's the process that it's logging is the SVC host. So this is all the information that's coming back from the process. Here's the um, command line for the process, process entity ID, and more information about the process. So you can see these are the sort of logs that we're getting back from our endpoint. Just an example. So all we're wanting to do at this stage is verify, verify that our Windows endpoint is actually sending um, logs, our, our, our endpoint is using the Elastic Agent, Elastic Defend Agent to send um, logs back to our um, back to our scene. And um, this is an example of a log that's come back from our, um, from our endpoint.